constructive feedback plays a key role in helping your support team grow professionally and making sure that they provide excellent customer service. One way to make sure that your team is receiving feedback regularly is to conduct conversation reviews on their support interactions and to go over the feedback they've received during regular coaching sessions and one-on-ones. But how can you make sure that the feedback they get is actually helpful and actionable? Thankfully, there's no need to reinvent the wheel. There are plenty of proven methods that make the process easier. Let's start with a timeless classic, the feedback sandwich. This simple method suggests the following feedback flow. Start with something positive that sets a good mood. Then point out any mistakes or areas of improvement and top it off with praise to finish on a high note. The sandwich method works well for both short reviews and thorough coaching sessions and makes negative feedback easy to digest. Its weakness lies in its predictability and repetitiveness. If you overuse it, your agents will notice the pattern and your sandwich won't have as much of an impact. While the feedback sandwich should be more of an occasional technique that your reps shouldn't see through, the 3x3 method is an approach that you can openly share with your support team. The 3x3 rules are simple. Give three positive comments in every feedback session and accompany the positive comments with three negatives. You can easily structure your weekly or monthly feedback sessions around the 3x3 rules. If your team conducts regular conversation reviews, you can choose three positive and three negative examples of customer interactions to discuss in your one-on-one -on -one sessions. This technique works well if your support reps know that this is the system used for feedback sessions as they'll know what to expect. The next method is simply known as stop, start, continue. Again, it's pretty straightforward. First, go over the things that did not work which the person should stop doing. Then, shift the focus to new approaches or practices that they should start doing. And finally, end the session by pointing out what they've done right and what they should continue doing. This technique works wonders when coaching and onboarding new team members, as it helps them get acquainted with your support culture. For example, you can refer to aspects of their communication that did not match your company's quality standards and encourage those that the agent got right. Once the agent is fully on board with your team's practices, you can decide whether to continue with stop, start, continue, or choose another method that's better adapted to your needs. If your team conducts peer reviews, the feed-forward method could be a great fit for your support organization. It encourages looking into the future instead of dwelling on what went wrong with two simple rules. Never give feedback about the past and no judgment or critique is allowed on any ideas. Instead, customer service agents should focus on areas to improve and ask for two positive suggestions on how to achieve them from their teammates. If your team currently feels uncomfortable when it comes to giving and receiving feedback, the feed-forward approach should make it enjoyable for everyone involved. Feedback is a normal part of work, especially in customer service, so make sure it's something your team can look forward to. If you'd like to learn more about additional feedback methods, then make sure to check out our blog post 7 Feedback Techniques That Customer Service Teams Should Love Found a method that works for you? Make sure to share your experience with fellow support professionals in our community and find links below to check out Klaus and our online course on setting up the perfect conversation review program.